Problem number four. Miss Kellett decides to dilate the area of her garden. The original length of the garden is 14 feet with an area of 98 square feet. The length of the new garden is 21 feet. What is the width of the new garden? Well, we want to set up a proportion, but in order to set up the proportion, we want to have length over length, so my big garden over my small garden, is equal to width over width, again, big garden over small garden. And in order to do that, I need to know both the length and the width for the original garden. We are given the length of the original garden, but we're not given the width of the original garden, so we need to calculate that. And we know that when we have a uh, rectangular shape, area is equivalent to length times width. And so if I'm told that the area is 98 square feet, and we're told that the width, uh, sorry, the length is 14 feet, we're still left with the unknown width. So 14 times the width should equal 98, which means we can do a one-step equation to solve backwards and determine that our value for w is equal to 7. So we now know that this original garden had a length of 14 feet and a width of 7 feet. And that should give us enough information to fill in our proportion. So the length of the original garden is 14 feet. The length of the new garden is going to be 21 feet. The width of the original garden is 7 feet. We want to know what the width of the new garden is, so that will be our variable. And so now we're going to cross multiply 14x equals uh, 147. We divide both sides by 14, and we determine that x equals 10.5. Number five, illustrate two similar figures with a scale factor of one-fifth. Well, if it has a scale factor of one-fifth, that means that it is decreasing in size so we will start out with my illustration that's going to be a 5 by 5. And I do 5 by 5 because that will make it simple for me to apply that scale factor. One fifth of 5 is simply 1. So that will end up with a 1 by 1. We can then answer questions 5a and 5b. 5a. What is the scale factor of their perimeters? Well, in order to figure that out, I'm going to calculate the perimeter. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 5 is 20. One plus one is one, two, plus one is three, plus one is four. And so we simplify the fraction. 4 twentieths is equivalent to 1 over 5. And so we see that the perimeter of two shapes will have the same scale factor. Part B, what is the scale factor of their areas? Well, in order to accomplish that, we're going to figure out what their areas are. So on my big shape, 5 times 5 is 25. 1 times 1 is 1. Well, here we see that the area has a scale factor of 1 over 25. And so another way of considering that is to look at the area, or the scale, scale factor. And when you take the area of the two shapes, we can simply scale scale, uh, square the value of the scale factor. So 1 over 5 would square to be 20, uh, 1 over 25. 